Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today's video is going to be a market update video for the greater Brighton area. You know, the goal of this video is just to help you understand how the market works and give you some statistics to help determine where the market is actually going. So I hope you enjoy this kind of content. If you do, please consider smashing the like button. And if you haven't subscribed, please feel free and do that as well. It's literally, it's free. It doesn't cost you anything. Even if you don't ever watch another one of these videos, it does help support the channel. What's up guys? My name is Anthony Owens. I am with eXp Realty. I'm a realtor. I specialize right here in the greater Brighton area. Now, obviously I have the ability to service all of Colorado because that's where my license is. But specifically, I, I feel like I know a lot more about the Brighton greater area. So let's just jump right into today's video. One of the stats that I found to be super interesting was the average sold price. Now keep in mind, when we go over these stats, they're specifically for the Brighton greater area. And these numbers are only for detached family homes. So it doesn't include condos, apartments, townhomes, uh, mobile homes, things like that. These are detached single family homes. If you look back April 2020, 478,000 was the average sold price. Fast forward about a year and a half, $559,000 is the average sold price. I would say like adding in new construction has definitely helped bring that price up. And then obviously just real estate in general over the last year and, and a half has skyrocketed. Okay, another interesting uh, stat that we use to determine how hot the market is, is gonna be inventory, of course. So normally I would say we've got, you know, 112, 113, 115, however many homes we have available. This time I'm gonna say months that we have available, like how many months of supply. And that number is just basically where the averages have taken us, how many buyers, how many sellers, things like that. We've got about 15 to 17 days worth of inventory available at any given time right now. If we look back, let's say uh, October, November 2019, we had almost two and a half months. So that's what, 60, 70, 80 days worth of inventory that we had at any given time. All right, and then one last thing before we close out the video, I wanna talk about average days on market. So that's a really, really good determining factor to say if the pricing is too high, if it's too low, if it's priced just right, interest rates, all those things that come into consideration. Let's say like about a year and a half ago on average days on market, January was 64. That means 64 days it took to either go under contract or whatever the case may be. Today we're at 11. Even at the peak of, of like May, we were six days on market. So even today, being 11 days average on market, um, that's that's not a lot of time. It's still not a lot of time for you to do research and consider all of your options. If you're a buyer and you've been looking for a home, even in the heat of the summer, six days versus 11 days, it's five extra days that we have right now. So that's fine. We are forced to make pretty quick decisions on, on home buying. So we are seeing some relief. We definitely um, have more houses available than we have in a long time and that's going to be super helpful all right guys so that is it for today's episode i hope you enjoyed everything if you have any questions comments concerns obviously you can drop them in the comment below or hit up my cell phone number i'll just put it on the screen here for you give me a call text me anytime that's this is what i do i'm more than happy to help you out even if you're a realtor and you need some information or you want to I don't know, connect some one way or another, that's fine too. I'm more than happy to share whatever information I have. And of course I could pick your brain too. All right guys, I appreciate your time, effort, love and support. And we'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.